Danae Cangelosi Cremosa is going to tell us how we can look beautiful and fashionable. She's with the Vintage Contessa, and it's an e commerce international boutique, and she specializes in fashionable items from around the world. They're authentic luxury goods. And I know that you and your husband travel quite a bit. You procured some of these items from Paris, from Italy, and you're bringing them to the Vale Valley. You're going to be here for the next several weeks. We are. We travel so much all over the world buying fabulous products, but we consider the Vail Valley, our second home. We love being here, so it's great. Okay, well, let's start with some of the things you brought in today. The handbag. Now, I had no idea that there's so much history and a hoopla, if you will, around some of these bags. Tell us about the first one that we have here. Well, the first bag is by Hermes. It's called the Kelly bag, and Grace Kelly famously carried it to cover her early pregnancy bump, and she was in Life magazine in 1956. This is such a classic look, too. It is. It's been around forever, and uh, it's still very popular today and still very coveted. Okay, the Kelly bag. You can find this because she's going to have this at several different locations throughout the next couple of weeks. This is the Birkin. Tell us about this. Yes. It was actually initiated and created in 1984 for Jane Birkin. She was traveling on an international flight and happened to be sitting next to one of the chairmen of Hermes and complained about the fact that her Kelly bag wasn't as functional for oh. carrying her notebooks. <laughs> So they designed this for her, and this is a waitlisted bag. It ranges in price from a retail of fifteen thousand wow. down to eight thousand dollars. So, it is the female's version of her Ferrari. I mean, the best thing to come out of the eighties, nineteen eighty-four, the Birkin bag. Now the Chanel bag. What I think is so interesting is a lot of clutches were popular in that day, and she decided to add the handle. She did. It was really innovative of Coco Chanel. She was quite a modern woman. She took her chains that she was famous for wearing around her neck as I have here and she added it to a clutch so a woman, a woman could be hands free at okay. a social occasion. Uh, the quilting has been the same since it was in February of 1955. That's it's called the 2.55. The burgundy interior is said to have been the color of the garments worn by the nuns in the convent where she was raised. Oh wow. And Chanel never married but she had a lot of different um, men's suitors so they say that this outside pocket is where she carried all of her love oh, letters. Wow, okay. <laughs> now this is just something that screams vintage antique. It's so amazing. Purse that's made out of, I don't know, what is this material? It's made out of lucite and those originated in the 1950s and now you see a lot of lucite in not only fashion as far as bracelets and so forth but in art and in furniture. So it's interesting, uh, you can have a piece of art in your handbag as well. Oh, fun. Okay, now we're going to go from the handbags to more famous names. And that's the thing, Chanel and Hermes, I mean, they're classics. So if you incorporate this into your wardrobe, even modern day clothing, you're going to have a great classic style. Well, exactly. And the basic black dress was something that Coco Chanel came up with. She also had a fabulous quote, women should be two things fabulous and classy and okay. I think by choosing one of her great pieces whether it's a handbag or a vintage set of earrings you can be both yeah those are timeless you know that's what's so fun about vintage jewelry antique jewelry is just the fact that uh, you wonder who wore it you know what's the stories if these bracelets could talk what would they tell us I know it's such a journey that they've been on and you can channel so many different looks these are actually watches but you can use them as bangles and there's a lot of different styles here you have the elephants with the trunk up which means good luck okay but you can take different pieces and not feel confined by the way that it was created so for example you can take this belt which is air which is Chanel and you can wear it as a necklace or wear it as a belt or even wrap it multiple times around your wrist to get a great a look. Fun. So for everyone traveling who's here traveling, this is a great way to pack a piece but be able to have it for multiple uses. Yeah, some versatility. And then this one is fun. It looks like just a nice little pendant, but it actually has a functionality. Let's see if we can grab that. And this is from... That's from Hermes, and it has a little bit of perfume in there. So if you need oh. to freshen up during the day, on it's the a go. great way to do it. Okay. Another great piece from Hermes is the scarf. It's been around for years. There's so many different ways to tie it. We're going to be featuring a lot of those on our website. But this is a great way to just tie it on the end to see the oh. full view. And you can put this on when you're going to a Bravo concert just to give you a little cover on the sleeves when it gets to be a chilly night in the Vale Valley. Yeah, I like this. 
And then then more. What's great with your Nicole Miller for us? Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we have some other items. Turquoise, very popular out in the West, but you're seeing this all over Europe and in the city. Yes, there's a, a real big resurgence in trying to find a different piece, a boho looking, interesting piece, kind of channeling Sienna Miller and Kate Moss. So we're seeing this with just a white shirt or with just a basic piece and you add this necklace to it and it looks fabulous. Now tell us about this. This is, I understand, from Cher's collection? Yes. These are actually two pieces that Cher owned and wore. And again, you can go to J. Crew, buy your basic t-shirt and pair of jeans or even Target for that matter. Put something on like this and you have an incredible outfit. I think people are really trying to be different and stand out and show their personality and their clothing. So by buying a vintage cuff or doing something different and unique, you can make your basic dress up. Yeah, and this is fun. You've got some um, Jean-Paul Gaultier sunglasses. You have sunglasses that will be on display as well. Yes, we look at all types of accessories and are open to buying and looking at all sorts of different things. Okay. But the fun. key is for what we're doing is everything is authentic. And I feel like that that's something that people are really concerned about. My um, husband is an estate jeweler, and he's been doing this for 29 years. So we have great international sources, and we guarantee everything that we have to be totally 100% authentic. So you can feel confident when you're buying from okay. us. Great. All right. Develop your style. You have a couple ways of doing that. D Danae, you're going to be around Luca Bruno today and some other places this week. We are. We're at Luca Bruno today from 1 to 5 with a great trunk show. Then we're doing a private trunk show for the Country Club of the Rockies uh, member guest tournament this week. And we will also be for everyone to come and visit at the Vail Antique Show. And then the following weekend, at the Beaver Creek Antique Show. Oh, it's so fun to see the history, learn more about these great stylish products, and for more information, the website, thevintagecontessa.com. We'll be right back.